Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Welcome to Morning Barakah Ramadan Special with me, Ali Fadl. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. And assalamu alaikum, Abu Amir. And now we head back to the IHTV studios with Yunus with the latest news brought to you by Shia Waves. It's a beautiful start to the day as many around the world celebrate the auspicious birth of Imam Hassan al-Mujtaba alayhi salam across the world on the 15th of Ramadan. And coming up on today's episode of Morning Barakah, we have a special guest, Abbas. The nan is burning. Many Muslims think that all fish are allowed. No, only fish with scales are allowed. I mean, of course, this is according to most of our marajah. Please do go back to your marja to double check. Today, I'm outside Al Rasul Adam Center right here in North London as we see how they prepare for the holy nights of Al Qadr. Come join us on Haida on the 19th of Ramadan. In this morning, Barakah Ramadan special, we are dedicating a whole segment specifically for the Holy Quran. And actually, Abbas, I'd rethink touching the Holy Quran without wudu. Because the Prophet actually mentioned when it comes to the holy verses of Allah, the Quran. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. السلام عليك يا ابن رسول الله السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين وابن سيد الوصيين السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة سيد May your heart be at ease, O servant of mine I am your Mawla al Hussein. I am the stranger of Karbala, and you are a stranger in these moments. Whoever visits my resting place, I visit theirs, and if they were put in hellfire, my intercession would spare. Did you not visit me after every salah? Did you not cry for me and wail for me? Did you not call out Labbayka Ya Hussein? Did you not call out Labbayka Ya Hussein? You have a right upon me, O oh my servant, and here is where you will take it, so do not be scared. So o oh Allah, I beseech you in the name of my mother Fatima and her broken ribs. Let the light of Ziyarat Ashura bring tranquility to the graves of your deceased. By contributing to the Husseini message, a recitation of Ziyarat Ashura will be in the name of your loved ones who have passed on. Let their names be mentioned by the grave of Aba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. What final time? I ask you all to support Imam Al Hussein TV for the future of your youth, for the future of Shiaism. Every single person's life is dependent on your education, and Imam Al Hussein TV provides you a free Islamic education. If you want to have good programs, if you want to have a source to help your community, your children, your families, do not hesitate. This is the month of rewarding, this is the month of istighfar, the month of Khayarat. Imam Hussain alayhi salatu is a name that unites us all. And this is the one area where we can 
put aside our differences and come together. I hope that the viewers at home will help donate to the channel and to build a platform for the future generations. I stand here before you, my dear brothers and sisters, to invite one and all to donate generously to ensure that the message of Ahlul Bayt والسلام, is kept alive. Beautiful programs we have. One of that program is Shia Voice. The Shia Voice try to bring up talented from east, from west, from north, from south. But to show this, to make this program, it needs your donation. Your generous donation, please help. Please support Imam Hussein team. We need your generous support. With your support, there could be more documentaries. With your support, there could be more programs. With your support, Shia Voice may come to your community. We cannot continue this without your generous donations. In this holy month of Ramadan, a month of charity, a month of giving, a month of generosity, come together, join us on Imam Hussein TV, and generously donate as you always have done, so we may continue to provide programs which serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course the holy household. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are now on Imam Hussein TV3 watching Seven Steps to Heaven, the best quiz show to ever be made. Your words, not mine. I'm your host. I'm, I go by the name of Yasser Hilfi. And joining me today, and as always, one of the greats himself, <laughs> Mullah <laughs> Rashid Haida. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa How are you, Mullah? Alhamdulillah, very well. How are you today? Today, I am not good. No. Ask me why. Why? Why? Because I heard before we started the show that you are going to be leaving us today uh, early. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I've got to get to... Uh, a place. Yeah, yeah, another place. Uh, wow. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here for the whole thing. Live today is that he is uh, essentially snaking us. <laughs> if you're not from London, <laughs> that means he is ditching us. Maybe that's a word they will understand. For another place because apparently you... And me are not good enough for him to stay. No, well, Arash, no, thank you so much for saying this <laughs> no. live on TV. I never said this. <laughs> but to go back to the point, yes. well, Arash, even though you're leaving us, I still care about what you had for iftar today. Um, today, 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 my iftar was quite small. Okay. In terms of, uh, I had an event before before Seven Steps actually. Nice, nice. So normally, before I recite, I don't like to eat as much. Mm. I like to keep it a bit light. Yeah, yeah. So just I literally just had like a few pieces of chicken, a bit of salad. That was really. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And this was at the event or at home? No, this is at home. Mashallah. So I broke my fast. So your mum must have been shocked. Yeah, yeah. She was really unhappy by yeah, the way. She was like, I <laughs> cooked all day for you to do this to me. <laughs> she was really unhappy. Mashallah. But inshallah, suhoor, we will, uh, you will dig we'll in. pay back. Yeah, inshallah, yeah, yeah. Inshallah, inshallah. What about you? What did you have? Today, I had a very different uh, palette, if you like to say, okay. in an Iraqi household. Okay. Because my sister came over and decided to cook us chicken chow mein. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's so different. That's an Asian or maybe a pan-Asian di uh, dish. Yeah. And uh, she smashed it. So, yeah, <laughs> it was really nice. And then after um, after that, oh, yeah, that was it. Actually, yeah. just a chicken chow mein. Not Normally, you know, you have the starters, yeah, the yeah. desserts. But no, like you, I had, I had a light one today. <laughs> <laughs> it was a light one. Yeah, yeah, it was a light one. And then, yeah, alhamdulillah, just living life. Alhamdulillah. Um, how do you feel that? The more and more we are getting into Ramadan, one of the worst things to ever happen is that the push, uh, that hour is going to be pushed forward. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to someone about, when is it happening, by the way? It's happening, if I am not mistaken, on the 21st of Ramadan or 20th. Okay. So, so God has been good to us this yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last 10 days are going to be peak. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's something that, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. But it's only another hour or so. Yeah, so it's not too instead of six thirty, seven thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been we've had worse. We've been looked after. Yeah, yeah we've had I worse. still remember the nine thirty days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. I don't know how I was having my I was having started then yeah. breaking my fast uh, suhoor at like 
what, 3 a.m.? 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Yeah, sometimes. Well, that was that was a killer. No, I'm with you. I'm yeah, with yeah. you there. Yeah, but it's not too bad. An extra yeah, hour. I'm actually looking forward for it to be pushed. Okay, of course. Because that means um, Suhoor will be pushed as well. Uh-huh. And right now it's around 4.20. Yeah. It's going to be now 5.20, 5.20 if it was today. Yeah, yeah. But th- at those times, it'll be at 5 a.m., yeah, yeah. which I'm looking forward yeah. to. No, I'm not going to lie that. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah. I wake up at that time for yeah. work. Oh, so really? I'm going to be able to wake up, eat, yeah, that's get that's ready and go to work. It's as if you're you're actually just back to your normal self. Literally, you're yeah. having breakfast. Nothing's changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you said, God's been good to us. Yeah. But Rashid, let's just give them a recap before we take our first caller, which is what happened last week um, uh, with our last episode. Sorry, if you remember, with our last episode, I'm pretty sure we had a few callers. A few people got through. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, but then but we the majority. Majority of them, they didn't. They yeah. didn't. I don't know what it was. Last week, the questions were a bit harder. Producers yeah. weren't nice. Um, and essentially, <laughs> <laughs> and essentially what happened is a lot of people didn't make it. Yeah. But I've got a good feeling that today's going to be a good day. Yes. yes. Um, I feel that we had a lot of callers from America. Yeah. And then our last caller actually was an American. And... I think one or maybe no Americans went through last episode. Yeah, so yeah. he came and said, I'm going to bring one home. Yeah. And he did. He did. His name was? Uh, Abu Abbas. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Wow. There you go. I'm very proud of you on that one. Did you one. remember though? Yes, yes. yes. I, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Abu Abbas, okay. 100%. Yeah, uh, our Lebanese brother that was in what state? He was... It was it Dearborn? No, nah, it, it was Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. I was not getting that. Yeah. <laughs> I was not getting that. <laughs> he was thinking, where the she has yeah, yeah. Dearborn. Where the she has? Yeah, yeah, that's it, really. But I'm feeling like the, the UK, the American, ah, maybe a bit of Canada. I'm feeling it in my heart. Yeah. Just a bit of Canada. <laughs> I'm going to go through today. Yeah? Because I like a mix. If it's just always a UK, 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 it gets a bit boring for the viewers. They want someone from their own demographic to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course. That's how I feel. It's like yeah. whenever every American calls, I'm like, where are my people? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. none of them because want. East London has not brought it home yet. East London doesn't want to go see Ada, yeah. from what I'm guessing. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Which means they have so much money, they don't want to free Ziada. <laughs> 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 yeah, mashallah on them and on uh, the viewers, of course. Um, what's happening with our first caller? Is, is, is First caller, the swigger. Yeah, they're sorting yeah. out. First talk to me, Ramadan. Yeah. We haven't had a show in a good few days, so we haven't. We yeah, haven't because spoken. the last one was cancelled of because, of course, of course Umm al Mu'mineen, the wafat of Sayyidah Khadija of came upon us. Mm-hmm. So we turned off our screens that day and mourned yeah. for our, essentially our mother. And um, alhamdulillah, we're back now. We're back at full energy. Mm. And we have a very special episode coming up where we will actually be on the day or the night of. Milad Imam Hassan alayhi ah. Now Mullah Rashid You've known <laughs> this, me This for is news l- to me by the way guys Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, you've well. known me for a very long time But if You know everyone Likes to do this thing Who's your favourite Or like Someone you have a connection In uh, In the Ahlul Bayt Yeah So most people say Imam Ali alayhi salam Or Imam Al Hussein. Me I have a weird mix Of my fi- Of my like Okay Connections so Talk to us about it So, so the first one is um, Again essentially my, Like my mother Say the Fatima al Zahra, Salamullah alayha, yeah. which I have a very deep connection with her. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And then the second one is actually Imam Hassan alayhi salam. Okay. Because um, when I started lecturing, uh, news flash to anyone that doesn't know I lecture, um, when I started lecturing, yeah. I was actually given the chance to give a lecture in one of the best communities out there. And uh, it was on Laylat al Qasim. So the okay. night that we remember Qasim. Ha ha, yes. So, yes, I, so this, I wanted yeah. to make my lecture about Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So I went into deep research on his life. And the things that I found out yeah. were eye-openers. Like, that is the day that I found out that, you know what, it's, just, it's not just Imam Ali, it's not just Imam Hussein, but rather every single person within the household of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can be taken, can be learned from, can be taught something different. And yeah. Imam Hassan taught me beautiful things for he is Kareem Ahl al-Bayt, uh, the generous Ahlul of yeah. the Ahl al-Bayt. Yeah. He is the one that Rasulullah said, he is the delight of my family. Mm. You know, whenever Rasulullah used to look at him, he used to smile. Why? Is it because that's his grandson? No. Not, not, not technically, not really why. But I would love to talk more about this, Mullah, because yeah. of course I love the Ahl al-Bayt. But we have our first caller. Yes. And with that being said, Assalamu alaikum day caller. Your name and where you're calling from. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Hassan. 
and I'm calling from Dearborn. I am so sorry, dear brother from Dearborn, but when you said your name, it just cut out. Please say your beautiful name one more time. Abbas. 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 Indeed, one of the most beautiful names. Yes. Of course. All the way from Dearborn. From Dearborn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We've got one. Alhamdulillah. Another one. <laughs> yes. Add him to the list. <laughs> brother Abbas, is this your first time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? I've watched before, but this is my first time calling. Of course, it's your first time because I remember all our viewers. But, dear brother Abbas, because you've watched it, we're going to throw you straight into the deep end, straight into the first step at the gates of Imam Ali alayhi salam. With that being said, Mula Rashid, do you want to ask? Or me? Or no, go for it, please. Go for it. Please. Bismillah wa billah. Ahsan. Where? Bil Okay, that's not what I was looking for, but oh, why okay. not? <laughs> All right. All right, <laughs> Brother Abbas, your first question is, Prophet Adam alayhi salam was the first prophet in Islam. Is that true or false? So, true. True. MashaAllah Alaik, you said it in Arabic and English. It seems like the producers are being nice to you because it's a pretty English, a pretty simple one. So let's lock that in for it's true. And of course you are correct. MashaAllah Mullah Rasha, take him away. Now inshallah Brother Abbas, we are gonna take you to your second question. And right now you're currently going through Wadi Salam, the largest Shia cemetery in the world. Now, your second question, Brother Abbas, is which prophet had the ability to command the wind and communicate with animals? Was it Prophet Moses? Was it Prophet Muhammad? Was it Prophet Solomon? Solomon? Suleiman? Or Prophet Noah? <laughs> which prophet? Nabi Suleiman. Sorry? Nabi Suleiman. Oof. Nabi Suleiman. Oof. Okay. Straight in. Are you sure? 100%. Oh, 100%. It he's, seems like... These Americans don't mess about, man. He doesn't play games. Shall I tell you why? Because he probably read the Quran and saw that Nabi Suleiman is mentioned to have the power to talk to animals. MashaAllah. <laughs> uh, Brother Abbas, I now take you away from Wadi Salam onto a nice virtual graphic of the Imam Hussein TV studios on the walk at pole 1114 because there are 14 Matsumeen. And now I ask you to guess the place. Brother Abbas, are you watching on YouTube? Yes, sir. Perfect. So please, I'm going to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. You are just going to have to guess what shrine is before you. And your options are, is it the shrine of Abbas ibn Ali alayhi salam or the shrine of Imam al Hussein, or the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam or the shrine of Imam al Rada alayhi salam? Those are your four options. Has the image popped up on your screen? Yeah, it has. Okay, so let's start that 30 second one more time, if that's okay with the AV team. All right, let me know what place this is. You have 30 seconds on the clock. Will Arashid, do you know the answer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty easy one, I yeah, yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Especially how the image is taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't forget that place. Of course you can. Yeah. Shabib, can you help me out on this one? What is it? He's phoned a friend. Oh, he phoned a friend. Beautiful. Shabir, if I'm not mistaken. Why not? Why not? Shout you have unlimited help plans, but you have five seconds, Brother Abbas. I need an answer for you. I need an answer Imam for you. Ali Imam Ali Imam Ali alayhi salam. Let's, let's put uh, that no. in. And just in time. You were correct. <laughs> just that was time. the shrine oh. of Imam <laughs> Ali. Why are you surprised? Why are you so surprised? <laughs> Like, he sounds really happy. Yeah. He sounds it really seems, happy. It seems like Shabir came in clutch for you. Shabir done his thing, bro. Mullah Rashi take him away. Right. One of our favorites. Brother Abbas, we now go to our next question featuring the Mercedes van. Where they send CNG um, servers up to the st uh, satellite for us to get our feed. Ah, SNG, <laughs> sorry. SNG. SNG. Mullah. Right, your next question, Brother Abbas, is who was the Prophet sent to the community of Madian? Was it Prophet Sheif, Prophet Shaib, Prophet Yunus, or Prophet Hud? Who was the Prophet sent to the community of Madian? Your 30 seconds have begun. Well, I should do not answer this one. Because this oh. is a pretty tough one. I'm, yeah, this I, is. I'm in between two. All right, Brother Abbas, because it's a bit tough, AV team, let's remove one option for you. I've removed the option of Prophet Hood. You, you now have three. 
Prophet Sheikh, Prophet Shaib, or Prophet Yunus. You have seven seconds. I need to count down with you. Prophet, Five. Prophet Shaib, the second one. Prophet Shaib, he meant. He meant to say Prophet Shaib. Let's lock that in for him. And of course, you are correct again. It seems like you called another friend, maybe Shabir again. And mashallah, <laughs> Shabir's knowledge is beautiful. <laughs> but yes, indeed. Yes. But Brother Abbas, I just want to remind you um, that if you do not say your answer within the 30 seconds, you will be eliminated from today's con test. Test. All right, Mullah Rashid, take it away. Right. Brother Abbas, your next question is something a bit different. It's guess the word. When it comes up on your screen, you've got some letters which are jumbled and we need you to basically put them in the right place. Mm. Has it come up on your screen now, just to confirm? Yes, it's on my screen now. Perfect. Right. So now your 30 seconds to begin. Uh, this one. You know I know the answer. Yeah, 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 we know this one. If you need any help, I can give you a small guess. Yeah. If you like, Brother Abbas. Yeah, and if you've watched the show a good few yeah, times. Yeah, please. please. Okay, so one of the guesses, well, we have two guesses now, that the H goes in the fifth spot, missing. The second guess is that this word is one of the great Eids that we celebrate. You have seven seconds to answer. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, bruv, brother Abbas. Ah, brother Abbas. The word was Mubahila, Eid al Mubahila. But you exceeded the 30 second limit, uh, which means you have not passed the test today. But guess what, Brother Abbas? Guess what? I have more amazing no. news, more amazing news than we've ever said ever before. So before we would tell you that you can call in again, and uh -huh. if you call in again and win, then you, you've, you're in the draw. Yeah, yeah. But today I give you better news. Okay. That on your screen, if you look at me and Mullah Rasha's beautiful Nord, you'll see a nice little CG that has Imam Hussein Charity on it with a barcode. And it says that if you donate today an iftar pack, if you donate an iftar pack, you will have the same chance as every winner of Seven Steps to Heaven to go to Karbala. Um, so if you donate an iftar pack, which is how much? Do you know, Mullah Rashid? I'm not sure. It's actually 30 pounds. So about 30 pounds. $33, $34, $35. If you donate that, which will go to a family that is in need in Iraq, you will get one chance and you will put your name in the draw for you to go to Karbala. But guess what, Brother Abbas? And what happens if I win? If but I win, will I get two drops? If Brother I donate and win? Brother Abbas, if you win the show, and then donate on top of it. You get two chances. Let me say something even further, even ah, better news. Yeah, Let's say today you're feeling generous and you donate not one iftar pack, not two, but you donate three, four, five, six iftar packs. We'll put your name six times in the draw. Oh, is it? For you to have the chance to go to oh, yeah. Now, Mullah Rashid, I wasn't that good at maths. But a draw, a raffle, let's say, is all about what? Probability. Probability. Now, if your name is six times in the draw and your name is one, hey. how many times will Abbas have more than you to win? Six. Six times. Six times more. more. So, Brother Abbas, <laughs> you talk to your family, see how many times you want to donate a pack, iftar pack, to Imam Hussein Charity to help the uh, families in need. Let me also remind you that donating an iftar pack is good uh, act to do in Ramadan. Yeah, of it course. is donating. Yes. It is supporting a family that has been fasting all day just like us, yes. but maybe doesn't have the resources to break their fast. Mm. Thank you so much, Brother Abbas, for calling. Fi amanillah to you, to your family. Pray for me and pray for Rashid. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. You saw a great clip from Imam Hussein Charity explaining to you what you should do. Again, I repeat one last time, if you do not win today, or maybe you do win today, but you still want another chance to maybe go to Karbala, you can go on Imam Hussein, Ch uh, Imam Hussein Charity's website and donate an iftar pack. Every iftar pack you donate, we'll put your name in the draw that we have for Seven Step Winners to go to Karbala. So, if you're feeling generous, donate in the star pack. Donate two, donate ten. And you might have the chance to go to Karbala. As well as 
gaining mercy and forgiveness of your sins from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you are donating to the families in need, to the orphans in need in Iraq. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, yes. the next caller is ready. The next caller is ready. And we say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah, dear sister. Um, if we could please get your name and where you are calling from. Uh, my name is Amar and I'm called from Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Uh, MashaAllah. Another one. Another one from Dearborn, but this one is from Dearborn Heights. Dearborn Heights, yes. The, the better <laughs> place in Dearborn. Uh -huh. Yes, because <laughs> it's in the Heights. <laughs> 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 you know, you're next to the mountain. <laughs> Sister Amal, I pray for you to win. Inshallah, because you are next to mountains, and I want to take you to the mountain next to the shrine of Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, where Sayyidah Zainab stood. With that being said, I'll take you to your first step, Sister Amen. Is this your first time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? No, I've watched it before. MashaAllah. So, I'm going to throw you in the deep end. We're going to go to the first step at the gates of Imam Ali, alayhi salam. AV team, can we go to step one? AV team. Can we go to step number one, AV team? Hello, Bihum. Hello, Bin Nishama. Thank you very much, AV team. Um, Sister Emel, I'll ask you your first question now, which is a true or false question. With that being said, your first question is It was Abdullah, the Prophet's father, who bestowed upon him his name. Mm. Is that true or false? Was it Abdullah, who is the Prophet's father, who bestowed upon him his name? Is that true or false, Sister Emmet? You have 12 seconds left. I need to remind you that you need to give me an answer before your time runs out. You have seven seconds, oh. six. You say false. Well, we're going to lock that in for you. And with that being said, AV team, can we lock it in? And you were correct, Sister Emel. Indeed, the Prophet's, uh, the Prophet's name came from the one Lord himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for that is his favorite creation. So he took it upon himself to name his favorite Prophet. Mullah well, Rashid, take it away. Ahsent. Right, on to our second question, Sister Amel. Which is, identify the conflict mm. in which the Muslims arrived with a modest force consisting of 313 individuals. Mm. Was it the Battle of Uhud, the Battle of Badr, the Battle of Khandak, or the Treaty of Hudaybiyah? Mm. Identify the conflict in which the Muslims arrived with a modest just, force. Sorry, Mullah Rashid, to cut you off. Sister Emel, just to make it easier for you, what battle did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have in his time where he only had 313 soldiers? We have removed one of the options for you, which was the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. We've removed it. Now you have three. With that being said, you have five seconds to give me an answer. Battle of Badr. Battle of Badr, the second option. With that being said, AV team, let's lock that in. And Sister Emel, you're coming in clutch. MashaAllah, you are giving us the correct answers. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, where do we take her now? To the Imam Hussein TV studios on the walk between Najaf to Karbala, wow. i.e. your gateway. To Karbala. Wow. wow. So essentially, it's from heaven to heaven. MashaAllah. Wow. <laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> right. The next question and the third question is a guest the reciter. Sister Amal, I'm um, just going to wait for it to pop up onto your screen and then we can go through the options. Just to confirm, has that come up yet? Yes. Perfect. Right, so you're going to get a blurry screen on there. Um, this is quite a hard one, to be fair. You don't know this? Uh, come on, Mullah. Not come too sure. On, but anyway, the counter, <laughs> I don't know why the time was on. But... Um, Sister Amal, you have four choices. It's either Farhan Ali Waris, Mullah Basim Karbalai, Mir Hassan Mir, or Nadim Sarwar. What reciter is this on the blurry picture? Sister Amal, with that being said, you have 10 seconds to, to give me the answer. This is a bit of. 
Sorry? Number four. Number four. You want to lock in Mir, Hassan, Mir. Five. Well, let's Five. Suarez. Say, oh, you want to confirm Farhan Ali Waris. Is that your final answer? Yes, I'm sorry. There's a delay. No, nah, it's okay. okay. Let's lock that in for you. And yes, you are right. Mula Rashid. Yes. I must say, I'm very disappointed that you know that ah, that was okay, Farhan okay, okay, Ali okay, Waris. Okay, okay, he has okay. the famous... Beard hair, come on. Beard hair. <laughs> no one looks as good as you, Habib. Ah, Mullah Rashid, you are the <laughs> noor on the noor. With that being said, <laughs> Sister Emel, I now take you to one of my favorite places, the palm tree with a couple buses and the Audi A4. And I ask you, who were Harut and Marut? Was it the people of Babylon? Are they angels? Are they the children of Israel? Or are they the Sahaba? Of Nabi Suleiman, who were Harut and Marut. 30 seconds on the clock. Sister Emel, may Allah, Angel. Muhammad, and Ali be with you. Thank you. Angels. Angels? Okay. Would you want to lock that in, Sister Emel? Is that your final answer? You have 10 seconds left. Yes. All right, then let's lock that in for you. And of course, Sister Emmet was correct. For Harut and Marut oh are angels. Ascent. Do you know which angels they are, Mullah Rashid? Have never mind. Don't, <laughs> don't, never mind. <laughs> he didn't even. <laughs> 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 the option to answer just wasn't there. <laughs> anyway, on to the next question. <laughs> Sister Amal, which I believe is going to be guess the word. Mm. Uh, yes, the next question. When that pops up on your screen, you have a mixture of um, letters on your screen. And essentially, you have to put them in the right place. Give, can we give uh, Sister Amal a clue, please, AV team? Yeah, Of please. where one of the letters. This one's baffled. Uh, no, just put it, and then I'll ask. No, this, this one's easy. This one? Yeah, man. Look where the letter goes. Put one of the letters. Sister yeah. Emel, can you see the word? I need a letter. I need some help from this one. Hey, V team, do you know the word? This is a very... Okay, sister, what is one thing that's recommended to do in the month of Ramadan? I just said it with I-H. Ah... <laughs> You have five, four, three, two. Charity. Sorry. Charity. Charity. With that being said, you are correct, Sister Emel. Yeah, Masha yeah. Allah, you got that correct. For yeah. indeed, charity is one of the most recommended acts in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan. I take you now away from the mokib of Ahali Karbala, and I take you straight to the headquarters of Imam Hussein TV in Karbala. And I ask you your sixth question, which means if you get this correct, you are one step away from having the chance to go to Jannah. And your sixth question is, what is the name of the black cloth adorned with Quranic verses that covers the Kaaba? Is it the Ihram? Is it the Kiswa? Is it the Ghilaf? Or is it Ghutra? Oh, that's a very, very tough question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, Sister Emel, if you do not know Arabic, inshallah, you saw this on an Instagram post somewhere. Can't, can't. Try number two, Kiswat. Oh, option number two, AV team. Let's lock that in. And you were correct. Correct, correct. Sister Emel, oh, of course it is. Allah. A Kiswa. Kiswa, ya Allah. Sister With that being the last one. <laughs> Go, take it away, take it away. Ha, 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 straight in. Okay, yellow, sorry. We go to no, the no. final step, Sister Amal, which is the shrine of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And mm. your final step, inshallah, to becoming victorious. Now, when this picture loads up on your screen, it's another kind of guest thingy. But mm. now, this is with guess an thingy. image. So, what's going to happen is... Um, You've got essentially six images that you need to put in the right place and create a picture. Uh, essentially, it's a puzzle. A puzzle, if you want to call it. Yeah. A puzzle, Sister ML. With that being said, AV team, 
has been very, very nice to give you an answer already. Two answers. They have decided to tell you that C goes to 1. Uh, and Sorry, that C goes to 1 and D goes to th uh, 6. Sorry, sorry, Sister Ahmed. I said that wrong. C goes to 6 and D goes to 1. Has the image appeared on your screen? Yes. Perfect. So D goes to 1 and C goes to 6. With that being said, you have a minute to give me the answer, Sister Emin. So I'm on the right to the left. Sister, you have 45 seconds remaining. F goes to 5. F goes to 5. B goes to 4. B, 4. B2, I'm sorry. B2. 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 Okay. B2, I'm sorry. All right. I, Can we remove? I think that's right. Okay. And no, then? Put that back. Put that back. The one that I put had. Put that it. back. Okay. So B3, uh, B4. Can we remove number two, please? You have 10 seconds what left, sister. That? You have 10 seconds left. B4. Sister, you have two seconds. Yeah, I'm trying to look at it. You guys, you guys are moving it. A three. A three. And, and E. E. To the last one. E to the last one. So E two. And AV team, can we confirm that for Sister Emmet? Mashallah, Sister Emmet. I want to be the bearer of good news today <laughs> and tell you oh that you have won seven steps to heaven. Congratulations, Sister Amal. You have become victorious today. <coughs> and essentially, you have won. What does that mean, Yasser? Sister Amal, because you have won today's uh, seven steps to heaven I bring you good news That you will receive a ring Made out of the marble Of the shrine of Imam Hussein Alayhi salam As well as being put into a drawer Where if your name is picked out You will go to Karbala I.e. Jannah Heaven on earth But Sister Emin I want to tell you something more That If you look at your TV There's a little CG Under me and Mullah Rashid That if you want to have A better chance A bigger chance of you winning to go to Karbala, you can donate through Imam Hussein Charity to an iftar pack, which is about $35, 30 British pounds. If you use the barcode on your screen, if you donate an iftar pack, we'll put your name again in the draw. If you take two iftar packs, or three, or four, or a hundred, we'll put as many iftar packs donated, convert it to your name, Put it in the drawer and you'll have a bigger chance to win and go to Karbala, i.e. heaven on earth. But with that being said, thank you so much for calling. I congratulate you again. And with that being said, Mullah Rashid, yes. you've been great. I think I've been great. <laughs> Sister Emin, thank you so much for calling in. Have a great day. Pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But pray for me first. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala oh, and beyond. There's something on my screen. Can you Woof, Mullah Rashid. Huh. Finally, we've had our we've first got a winner. winner. We've got a winner. Now, what's happened to your mood? I feel like more noor has been taken out of your face now. Taken out? Yeah. <laughs> taken out onto the viewers. Oh, oh, I thought it was like a bad thing. No, no, no. <laughs> no, nah, but um, I'm extremely happy. We've got our first winner mm. of the night. Mm. And that's always a good feeling. Of course. Because that's one more person that has the chance. To get to Karabela. <laughs> Again, with that being said, Sister Emel called in all the way from Dearborn Heights. And then the first caller again was yes. from Dearborn. So again, to Two repeat from America, to you. So where are you guys yeah. in London? What are you guys <laughs> Everyone doing? Everyone else in the world, I know you're all in. awake watching. <laughs> I know there's someone from South Africa wanting yeah, to yeah. call. I'm talking to you. Call in now. Definitely you someone. in Colombia. <laughs> Call in now. <laughs> Someone in Harrow and yeah, opposite. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, opposite the Asda. 100%. 100%. I don't know if there's Asda in Harrow. No, but, but there is. There is. Trust me. I feel it. <laughs> they're opposite the Asda and they're not calling in. You in Argentina. Call in. Yes, call in. Call in. With that being said, 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to our dear caller. Your name and where you're calling from. I'm Trisha and I'm coming from Los Angeles, California. Oh, nice. Okay. Dear caller, I'm so sorry. Can you just repeat everything you Did said yeah. again? Because I didn't hear a thing. Terrible person. Yeah. I heard everything. <laughs> I'm from... I'm from Los Angeles, California. MashaAllah. And what's your name? I'm Fizza. Fizza. Fizza, how old are you? Ten. Ten? Ten. MashaAllah. Okay. You've won. You've won? You've won. We no. don't need to go to the question. We questions. don't need to do it, guys. Just, right. just put the name in. <laughs> <laughs> just put the name in, guys. Why? Why Sister Fizza. I'm very excited that you've called in today, all the way from Los Angeles, one of my favorite places in America. I think at this rate, all the states are your favorite. <laughs> yeah, they are. It'll be like a random place like Kentucky. I love that I, place. My, my uncle lives there, actually. So it's one. one. So it's actually really? one of my favorites. Yeah. Solid. Kentucky is one of my favorites. But Los Angeles is where all the good movies are made. So thank you very much, Fizza. With that being said, Fizza, are you ready to go to your first question? Yes. Are mommy and daddy there to help you? Yes. Okay. Perfect. 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 Ma Mom, dad of Fizza, please make sure Fizza wins today. Yeah, yeah. Because it will break my heart. There is no losing today. Yeah, there is no losing yeah, yeah. for Fizza all the yeah. way from Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, impossible. All right. With Yo, that being said, in. Sister Fizza, your first question is, the prophet had two siblings. He had two siblings. Is that true or false? False. Wow. False. False, and she said false again. Yeah. So let's lock that in. She just locked it in. Yeah, let's lock it in <laughs> for Fizza. <laughs> Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Sister Fizza, that was correct. You got one question right. Perfect. Only six more to go, and you <laughs> might go to Imam Hussein in Karbala. Mm. I said. Well, I should take it away. Right, Fizza, on to the second question, mm. which is... Who was the iron wall constructed by? Was it Dhul Qarnayn? Was it Prophet Musa? Was it Yajuj and Majuj? Or was it Prophet Idris? By whom was the iron wall constructed? 30 seconds begin now. AV team, could you just get rid of one, please? Well, I should straight in. They've removed one. Tell Fizza for That was quick. Right, Fizza. So option number three has been removed. So you have one, two, and four left. And you have about 10 seconds to answer. So... Number one. Number one. Number one? Let's lock that in. <laughs> and indeed, Fizza, you are correct. Perfect. For the iron wall was constructed by the great man himself. Mentioned in the Quran, hmm. Dhur Qarnayn. Qarnayn. Very nice name to be honest with you. Would you name your son Dhur Qarnayn? Maybe if I ran out of every other name, <laughs> but, you know, there's better. Yeah, yeah. Imam Ali. Yeah, yeah. Ali, Ali Hassan, Hussein, Rashid, Jafar. Rashid. If one's not called Rashid, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> With that being said, Fizza. Okay, Fizza. Um, I want you to look at your screen. With the help of Mama and Baba, I need to guess the shrine, guess the place, guess the picture, and your four options are. Is this the holy shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam? The holy shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam? The holy shrine of Sayyidah Zainab? Or the holy shrine of Al Abbas ibn Ali alayhi salam ajma'een? Please tell me when you can see the image. Do you have an idea? Do I have an idea? Of course. Oh yeah. With, an, with a dome like that and those, those pillars, you have to know. You have to know. You have to know the great. Uh -huh. See you there. Do you see it, Fizza? Hazrat Abbas. Yes, Hazrat Abbas. Hazrat Abbas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to, are you sure you want to lock that in? Wait one second. Let me think. Yeah, yeah. Take, yeah, take it. Of course you can think. No, no, just wait one second. No, no, <laughs> Change it quick. <laughs> you have to give me an answer, Fizza, please. Hazrat Zainab. Hazrat Zainab. Hazrat Zainab. Yeah, well, yeah. with correct. that being said, you're correct. You are correct. <laughs> there is no losing today. <laughs> On to the next question. 
That was the holy shrine of Sayyidah Zainab all the way in Sham. Inshallah, you and Mama and Baba can go there inshallah. very, very soon. Inshallah, inshallah. And on to the next question, Fizza. Question number four. You are moving on swiftly and getting close to the end. Right. The next, these guys are just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Come on, guys. Right. Fizza, your next question is. As Prophet Dawood praised Allah's name, mm. what other being would join him in glorifying Allah? Mm. So who else joined him in glorifying Allah? Was it the jinn and the mountains? Was it the soft iron? Mm. Was it the birds and the mountains? Mm. Or was it the animals and wind? This is where Mama and Baba are coming into play. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna... Google might need to be used. Yeah, yeah. Google, listen. Just you... make sure Fizza wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's... Whatever you do, just make sure. Let's she gets remove it. an option as well yeah. for Fizza. One We've more. removed the animals and the wind, <laughs> which means you only have option one, two, and three available. Kula do you know the answer? Yeah, yeah. You have seven seconds, Fizza. Come on, Fizza. You got this. The birds in the mountains. The birds in the mountains, option number three. Let's lock that in. And sister Fizza, you are correct. Well done, Fizza. For indeed, the mountains started to sing Allah. and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mentioned in the Quran. Ahsan of Sheikh. Habibi Mullah. Habibi Sheikh. Quran is not true. No, no. Mullah Rashid. Sister Fizza, I now take you to a mokib which you will walk past because you are going to win today. Yeah, 100%. Oh. And your word is such an easy yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Mama and Baba are going to know this word straight away. With that being said, let me know when you can see the word on your screen. Okay, Fizza? Muharram. Muharram? Oh, right, straight in. Straight in. There's no messing about. Hey, me just lock in. Muharram. Lock in. Let's lock that in. And of course, you are correct. The word was Shahru Muharram. One of the greatest months to be bestowed upon us, for it holds one of the greatest. You're getting good at this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're getting really good at this. <laughs> I make it up on the spot. Just it's saying it's anything good. now. Yeah, yeah. It's good though. But it works. Yeah. It works. I With that being said. With that being said, we get onto question number six. Fizza, you are so close. Um, right, your second to last question is. Allah was immensely pleased with Ibrahim's willingness to sacrifice his son. This day is commemorated as a celebration. What is the name of this day? So on what day? Eid al-Adha. Wow. Doesn't want to hear you, Mullah. Yeah, please yeah. be quiet. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Fizza, she said, Fizza, I'm sorry. Three, I'm sorry, Fizza. Number three, she said, Eid al-Adha. <laughs> Are you sure, Sister Fizza? Yes. Of course you are. With that being said, Fizza, you are correct. Now, Fizza, I want you to look at mummy and daddy and tell them that they need to help you for this one. They have to help you. Okay? I want, I want to hear you say it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. The message was delivered. Don't worry. The message was delivered. Fizza, I'm going to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. It's six images and you have to put them in the right place. So, it's like you playing a puzzle. Of course, you play puzzles. Maybe with Mama, with Baba, maybe in school. So, this is the same thing. And I heard you're very good at puzzles as well. Mm -hmm. Say it. F6. F6. <laughs> E1. C5. 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 B4 B4 four. B4 E3 E3 e No, E has e A3 no. Oh, A3, A3. Sorry. A3. I'm sorry, I'm sorry A3 Why are you messing up, bro? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> And the oh. last one The last one, Fizza, you're there B2 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 With that being said Sister Fizza, Sister Fizza, Sister Fizza, Sister Fizza, Sister Fizza. Fizza, 
I, I, I want. I really want to do this. I really want to. No, do this. Please, 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 do please, it. Please, do please, it. Please let me do this. Do it. Fizza, well done. Well done. Let's give a round of applause. Yes, of course. Thank you. Fizza, congratulations. You have made it to the end. What that means is that not only Oof. are you going to get a ring. Wow. And this ring is very special. Why? Because it's made from the marble of the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. What? Yes, that's the first thing. Crazy. But the second thing is that your name, Fizza, is going to get put in a hat. And if you are lucky, on our last program, when we pull out that name, it's going to be yours. And you are going to be going to Karbala, inshallah. So, for now, congratulations. The team are going to be in contact. And just ah. to say something, uh, congratulations to you, Fizza. Congratulations to mommy and daddy for Thank helping you. you. And the message for your mom or for your dad is that if they would like to be generous today, if they think that they want a bigger chance for all of you to go to Karbala, then you can donate an iftar pack if you scan the barcode on your screen now. And if you donate we a already barcode... Did. You already did. <laughs> oh my days. MashaAllah uh. on you and your family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, Fiza, and make you one of the servants of Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra. And may Allah be pleased with you and your family. Thank you so much for calling. And I am looking forward to taking the name out of that hat and it being your name. Thank you so much. Fima Allah to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Viewers, you looking at me now. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Don't look away. Oh Hello. Gosh. Oh Leave gosh. your phone. Leave your... No, don't take a bite of the sandwich. I'm talking to you. Wait, wait. He's lost his mind. Look at the barcode under me. If you scan that barcode and donate an iftar pack, which is nothing more than $35 if you're in the US, or £30 if you're in the UK, if you donate an iftar pack, we'll take your name, put it in the drawer, and you may have, may have the chance to win. But then I want to... Leave your phone. I'm talking. Put your phone away. Yes. But then... After donating once, you can donate again. The third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. Each time you donate, the bigger chance you have to win a free trip. I say again, a free trip with a tour group to go to Iraq, to Jannah, to Karbala, to visit your masters buried in Imam Hussein. Karbala, which are Imam Hussein alayhi salam and the rest of the Imma. With that being said, look at this. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein charity. In Karbala and beyond. It doesn't work, by the way. On the screen under me. Yes, I haven't heard anything, by the way. It's fine. With you guys back, you can now eat the sandwich. It's okay. Yes. Go back and eat the sandwich. Yes, I'm yes, sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. But I was saying something very Post important. Post-iftar cravings? Yes. Yeah. Now you can eat. Now you can eat. Once I you've made a donation. Oh! What's the, oh! <laughs> What's the donation's been made? Yes. Listen, just scan it. Just scan it. Yeah, yeah. Take out your phone. <laughs> you know. Go on the camera. Scan. Visit QR link. code. It's very simple. Thirty-five dollars, mm. Apple Pay. And be honest with me, I don't get pounds. it. What is thirty? No, pounds? you know what? I don't get one. Oh, it's sorry. because <laughs> uh, my brain's working again. Oh my god! It's that. It's sadaqah. You are giving a yes. donation to a family that needs it. Yeah. Orphans. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said countless of times that the one that sponsors an orphan, that helps an orphan, is the best of people. That you will be like this yeah. to the one that helps an orphan. With Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Like this. Why not do it? And on top of that, you have the chance of winning a free trip to Karbala. Are you crazy? I'm donating. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I can't even win, but I have to donate. When Yasser ends up on the trip, don't ask questions. Don't guys. ask questions. I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, Assalamu alaikum, dear caller, your name and where you're calling from, please. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum My salam. name is Bethna. Okay. And I'm from Canada. Canada. I told you someone from Canada is calling in today, Rashid. I felt it. Where from Canada are you, Sister Bethna? Uh, uh, Toronto. Toronto. Toronto, the heart of Canada. One of the best places in Canada. Yes. The London of Canada. Yes. With that being said, Sister Bethna, is this your first time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? No. No. Perfect. Perfect. So let's get the graphics on the run. AV team, Graphics on perfect. Me. And now we go to step number one, Sister Bethna. May Allah and his prophet and his wali 
be with you today. I'm really looking forward for you to win because I feel like the Torontonies, is that a word? Torontonies? No, it, it has Adarkis, officially been made a new Torontonis word. Torontonies <laughs> have not brought anything home yet. <laughs> with that being said, Sister Bethna, your first question is, after the passing of his mother, of the, after the passing... Mm. <laughs> after, after the passing of the Prophet's mother, the Prophet was looked after by Abu Talib. Is that true or false? I believe it's false. You, think, you don't think it's false or you think it's false? It's false. Sister Bethna? In a way. Sister Bethna, you have 20 seconds. I, I'm, so I'm going to let you think about it. When the Prophet's mother, it's Amina, true. was passed away. It's true. It's true. Okay, it seems like a confident. So let's lock that in. She said true. Sister Bethna? Of course, what I tell you is true as well. That that was correct, Masha Allah. What? Wow. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Sister Bethna, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, you were correct on saying it's false because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, after his mother passed away, he was looked after by a short period by his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, before, before going to Abu Talib. But the AV team, the director, the producers are so nice to the Torontonis that they are going to let you go to the second stage, to the second question. But just next time, read the question, think about it. Because I have belief in you, and Allah believes in you, and this Prophet believes in you. Let's go. The second question, mm. oh, wow. Sister okay. Bethma, is what miraculous sign did Prophet Saleh receive? Mm. Sorry, English there just stopped yeah. working. Receive as evidence of his prophethood to persuade the tribe of Thamud. Was it a staff which turned into a snake? Mm. Was it the art of translating dreams? Mm. Was it a she camel? Mm -hmm. Or was it the power of softening iron? Allah what Allah. sign did Prophet Saleh receive as evidence of his prophethood to persuade? A she camel. A she camel. She -camel. Option number three. Sister Bethna, do you want to confirm that? Yes. Well, if you want to confirm it, I want to confirm it. Let's do it. I think I've been saying your name wrong. Is your, is your name Sister Besma? Yes. Ah, I'm so sorry. I've been saying it wrong this whole time, which is all right because my heart is pure. With that being said, <laughs> Sister Besma, you now go to the third stage of your journey. Oh, yes. And it is guess the place. Alhamdulillah, the directors and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been nice to you <laughs> because this might be the easiest one yet. Guess the shrine. Is it the shrine of al kadhamain Is it the shrine of Imam al Hussein? Is it the shrine of al Askariyain? Or is it the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam? Can you see the image, dear Sister Besma? Unfortunately, no. Okay, okay. so I'm going to wait for you. We'll give it. <laughs> we'll to wait. We'll give it a few seconds. What? That's five times five. Five times five is twenty-five. That's wrong. That's what the schools teach you. <laughs> Indeed, it's twenty-four. <laughs> 0.999. They just rounded it up because they were like, what the heck? Yasser Al Halfi, ladies and gentlemen. Join us at Al Academy today. <laughs> no, I'll teach you all secrets you of the world. You will not make it far. <laughs> Sister Besma, can you see it now? Yes. Perfect. So 30 seconds is on the clock. Sister Besma, look at the image. How many domes, how many pillars can you see? Mm. And then I think you will get the answer. Just how Insha many? Allah. <laughs> Sister Besma, Sister Besma. It is what, sorry? Number three. Number three, which is Al Askariyin. Yes. Well, we have three seconds to go, so we're going to have to lock it in. Oh, number four. Number okay. four, okay, Al Askariyin. Al Askariyin. Unfortunately, Sister Besma, Al Askariyin have two imams buried under but they have one large dome if you look at the picture there are two domes to resemble the two imams buried in al kadhamain imam musa al kadhum and his grandson imam muhammad al jawad 
alayhum as salam. Unfortunately, Sister Besma, you have not gone through seven steps to heaven today. But, 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 but. If you look at your screen, there's a CG under me. If you and your family would like to contribute, contribute, contribute a iftar pack through the, through the QR code that's on the screen, you will automatically be put into the draw to get to Karbala. And the more you donate, the more iftar packs you donate, first of all, the more thawab you get. The second is the more times we put your name into the draw for you to have a chance to go to Karbala. With that being said, thank you so much for calling Sister Besma. Pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But pray for the AV team first. With that being said, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, God. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Right. Bismillah wa billah wa isma al husna. You are back on seven steps to heaven. Is the next caller ready? Yes, with that being yes. said, Mullah Rashid, I say to them, Assalamu alaikum, the caller. Your name and where you're calling from, please. My name is Hussein Taft, and I'm calling from the Taft. <laughs> oh, Hussein Taft, a personal favorite of Imam Hussein oh, TV3. Yes. You know, I saw him earlier on this week. Oh, did he? And he's like to me, he's like, I want to call in, I want to call in. He's like, but I can't call in. I said, why? He's like, I don't find the number. Don't find the number? I said, Hussein, what do you mean? <laughs> I told him, watch properly. Watch and properly. now he's found it. He number. found it because even the number's on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hussein, I, I don't know what, I don't know what happened, like, Hussein. But <laughs> well, anyways, Hassouni, I do not want to waste any time with you. I'm going to throw you straight to step number one. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Taft. Ya Ali. Ya Mullah, Ali. I took my promise. Ya Ali. Ya Haydar. Ya Ali. No, 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 please. <laughs> only, only the reciters can yeah. do that, all right? <laughs> I like how you said reciters. <laughs> reciters. With that being said, Hassouni, your first question is, the Quran was revealed. Three. Okay. Okay, Three. fine. Do it. Ahsent, Hassouni, Ahsent. We go to the next question. <laughs> Mother Asha, let's make this a right. quick fire one. Shout out to Sayyid Nayar. <laughs> next, anyway. Question AVT, two. I ask you to make this very hard. Give him the hardest questions we have. <laughs> Please. Oh, <laughs> Go. No oh. violent, bro. Oh, yes. This is beautiful. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, AV team. <laughs> Jazakallah. <laughs> right. The second question <laughs> is Daft. Well, you can read the question. <laughs> who was the grandfather and father of Prophet Ayyub? Mm. Was it grandson of Ishaq and son of Ibrahim? Okay. They've just given the answers. <laughs> they really yeah. Mean. Bad person. <laughs> grandson Number of three. Yusuf and son of... Huh? Sorry? Number three. So he's the grandson... No, 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 no. He's the grandson no, of no, Yaqub no, no. and the son of Musa. You even lost. No, no, number two, number two, number two. Number, number two. two. He's the grandson of Yusuf and the son of Yaqub. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I so. Let's lock that in. And it seems like... <laughs> it seems like wait, that wait. was indeed incorrect. For the son of Yaqub is Yusuf. And the grandson of Yusuf is not the son of Yaqub. No. Hassouni Teft, it seems like your confidence was not in the right place. But Hassouni, before I send you off, let's have a chat. How are you? How's everything? Alhamdulillah, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Let me ask, let me walk you through the question. So why did you think it was the grandson of Yusuf and the son of Yaqub? Uh, the pressure. Uh, Let me uh, help you. Let uh, me help you. Who's the son of Yaqub? Nabi Yusuf. Alayhi okay. Ta. So when we said who is the father of Ayub, it can't be the son of Yaqub because that's Yusuf. And it can't be the grandson of Yusuf because the grandson of Yusuf is not the son of Yaqub. But, Hassouni, good news for you is if you scan the QR code under me here, and you donate an iftar pack because, mashallah alaik, you love the Ahlul Bayt. And you love to follow in their footsteps. If you help an orphan, if you help a family that does not have the means to break their fast, then we will put your name into the draw. So we've removed the fact of you answering questions. Instead, we've just asked you to donate something that's better for you and something that's easier for you to attain a chance to go to Jannah. 
With that being said, thank you so much, Hassouni, for calling in. Pray for me. Pray oh, for Mullah Rashid. Pray for the AV team. Pray for your family, for indeed your dua gets answered. Mm. Ma salama Habibi Hassan. But Taft, I want you to call in again very soon. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Hi, ah, is he gone already? Oh, okay. Cool. He was very upset. You Six upset second video. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. You're back after showing you a small six second video about Imam Hussein Charity's great work and how we have partnered up with them for you to have a better chance to get to Karbala. I now say to the viewer, Assalamu alaikum, dear caller, your name and where you're calling from. Assalamu alaikum, dear caller, your name and where you're calling from. Wa alaikum assalam. I'm calling from Australia. Masha oh, yes. Allah. Australia. Australia! Wow. Brother, what was your name? I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? Irfan, I think. Yeah. What? So, brother, could you just repeat your name for us? Sh Shisma? Tathir. Is your name Tathir, my brother? Yes, brother. MashaAllah. Oh, okay. I got it completely wrong. MashaAllah. InshaAllah, your heart is as pure as your name. Allahu Akbar. With that being said, brother Tathir, calling all the way from Australia. What time is it in Australia right yeah. now? Like four days ahead or something. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're currently on Saturday. You are probably on Saturday Wednesday. Saturday the 23rd. You're probably I believe on he's Wednesday on the 30th the of August. I'm not mistaken. Are you? Oh, we're on Saturday. Oh, you're on Saturday as well, oh, mashallah. Okay. Saturday the what? 8th of April. <laughs> 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 Baba, Tatir, I must say I'm very happy you've called because you are literally on the other side of the earth. But you've called in to talk to Mullah Rashid to take some of his noor away. But with that being said, Baba Tatir, I ask you your first question, which is the Quran contains passages that emphasize the importance of justice and fairness. Is that true or false? 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, true. True. Let's lock that in for Brother Tathir. <sighs> MashaAllah, Tathir, you were correct. We now go away from the gates of Rahmah, the gates of mercy, Allah. the gates of the shrine of Imam Ali, and we take you to Wadi Salam, a place that we all yearn to go to and be buried there, inshaAllah. Mother Rashid. Right, our second question, brother Tatir, is To which tribe was Prophet Saleh sent down by Allah? MashaAllah. Was it Ad, Thamud, mm. mm. Quraysh, mm. or oh, Najran? MashaAllah. A pretty easy one if you saw the last caller for we gave him the answer. Mm. Prophet Saleh was sent down by Allah to which tribe? Ad. Thamud, Quraysh, or Najran. Let's remove one for Brother Tathir, for his name is mentioned in the Quran about the Ahlul Bayt. You have five seconds, we've removed Najran. You now have the options one, two, and three with um, five seconds. Four. I'd say Ad. Ad. Are you sure you want to lock that? In? Ah, let's do it. Ah. Yes. Brother Tathir, it seems like you are so ahead. <laughs> In Australia, that you are fasting now, you have not broken it yet, so you are tired. Am I correct in saying that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, brother Tathir, I want to tell you two things. But Rashid, can you give him the first part? The first part is unfortunately because you got the answer wrong. It means that your journey stops here in this quiz. However, it doesn't fully stop. Because if you look at your screens now, brother Tathir, there's a QR code under me with Imam Hussein Charity, which is if you donate an iftar pack, which is about 35 US dollars, which is about 40 Australian dollars, you will have your name will be put into the basket, into the hat, where if your name is taken out, you will go to Karbala for free. I repeat that for free with a tour group. But brother, it doesn't end there. Because you can call in again if you like. If you win seven steps and you donate an iftar pack, we'll put your name not once but twice in the hat.
for you, ha for you to have a bigger chance of winning to go to Karbala. With that being said, thank you so much for calling in, Brother Tatir. Pray for us, for you are in one of the holy lands of Australia. Allah. And thank you so much for calling. Don't forget us in your du'as. Um, Salama. Brother Rashid. Yes. You're looking very good today. Thank you very much. But with that being said, watch what this video tells you. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. All right. And we are back. Brothers and sisters, you saw the great video of Imam Hussein Charity. And then, uh, Imam Hussein Charity, now we want to give you a little break for you to go get your popcorn, go get your drinks. Go get your snacks. Maybe open up a book before you call in so you know the answers of everything. So we're going to go to a very short break, but don't go anywhere. You on your phone. Abbas, you. Don't go anywhere. Relax. Relax. But, Mullah Rashid, huh? of course, after this break, I'm going to come back and I'm going to be alone. La. So please have the, a few words with the My corners. heart is broken. To be, to Say be, few to, them. to be leaving seven steps <coughs> so early before the end of the show. <coughs> Lies. But... <laughs> <laughs> but inshallah, inshallah, I will be back for the next show tomorrow. Yes? Yes. So, gone but never fully gone. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, we'll be back tomorrow. It's um, see you later and it's never a goodbye. Allahu Akbar. You're really good. Thank you very much. You're like incredible. <laughs> but inshallah, I'm going to leave you all in the capable hands of Yasser, who I know needs no introduction, doesn't need any help, doesn't need any assistance. We've just lost half of the viewership. <laughs> 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 My God. <laughs> Good. Uh, Yalla. But inshallah, we're going to go on the break now. Uh, take care of yourselves. Don't go anywhere. And inshallah, Yasser will be all yours after the break. Inshallah. Assalamu <laughs> What if she? What if she? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go يا اخي يعني مشتري نادوم بالعيد على ايده ومواليد السنه لا غساله لا جيزر كل شيء ما عندي بعد هاي الرطوبه وهاي الطينه كل شيء ما عندي واليوم طحينه ما عندي اليوم 10 طحين ما عندي شيء هذا الله شهاده هاي ما حروقه ولا الكهرباء حتى كهرباء ما اخذت بالجواري ما عندي كهرباء ويوم يهدد بي راح يقطع هذه غسالة ما عندي جاب لي واحد ذاك الغسالة طلعت عاطلة، التلفزيون مالتهم عاطل، الحمام ما عندهم يغسلون به، ما عندي كل شيء انا حايرة بيهم والله العظيم. شنو تحاسبي؟ شنو تودي لرسالة؟ شنو تسولف وياه؟ بس تريده يجي؟ بس تريده يجي؟ For those of you who are watching, whatever you can give, you know, whether it's 50 pound, 20 pound, 10 pound, 5 pound, whatever you can give. Please give to help people like this so that they can improve their life standard. They can become more healthy and they can be more motivated to go and you know, achieve greater things. Generosity doesn't need an audience. It just needs a heart willing to make a difference in silence. Donate now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're back on Seven Steps to Heaven. If you were not here before, you see that I'm all alone today. No one next to me. I know I'm smiling, but bef behind this smile is a very sad face that I do not want to show to the viewers. For Mullah Rashid Haidar has left me today alone, but the show must go on. As I like to say, so brothers and sisters, welcome back to Seven Steps to Heaven. Inshallah, you took your snacks if you were here before. You brought your snacks, your popcorn, you had a drink. You told your mom you love her. You tucked in the kids because it's very late and they should be asleep. With that being said, we have a very nice announcement that we've been announcing all through the show today. 
that if you don't want to call, or even if you want to call, you can scan the QR code under me that go, takes you straight to the website of Imam Hussein Charity to donate an iftar pack, which is around 30 British pounds, 35 US dollars or 40 Australian dollars because we had an Australian viewer before we left off to break. If you donate an iftar pack, we will put your name into a raffle, into a hat. And if your name is taken out, we will take you to Karbala. So if you do not want to call in, you're shy, donate an iftar pack, donate two, donate three. The more you donate, the more times we put your name into the hat. And if your name is taken out, you will go to Karbala for free. I say again, for free. But then, the AV team have told me that, alhamdulillah, our first caller back from the break is here. So I say to him, Assalamu alaikum, dear caller, your name and where you're calling from. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Dear sister, your name and where you're calling from? Sahira from Lebanon. Masha Allah. You said your name is sister, sorry, Sarah? Sara, yes, Sarah. but I'm actually from South Africa. Masha Allah. So you left yes. Lebanon and now you live in South Africa? No, I left South Africa and now I'm in Lebanon. Oh, Masha Allah. Which one's nicer? South Africa, Lebanon? Both. Both, nah. alhamdulillah. You're picking the safe answer, Sister Sara. I would have said Lebanon. Yes. <laughs> but I've never well, been... Well, Lebanon, yes, because there is a lot of Shia, yeah. Alhamdulillah. So, yes. Alhamdulillah, you're definitely Alhamdulillah. correct. Well, Sister Sara, is this your first time joining us to Seven Steps? Have you ever watched yes. the show? Yes. I've watched it uh, two days back. MashaAllah. So you know how the show runs? Yes. Perfect. So with that being said, I take you to the gates of Rahmah, the gates of mercy at Najaf. At the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam, of course, virtually. And I ask you a first question, which will be a true or false. And your question is, the Quran promotes the concept of brotherhood among Muslims. Is that true or is that false? It's true. It's true. It seems like you're very confident. So we're going to lock that in for you, Sister Sara. And indeed, you are correct. But it's a bit delayed, okay? I know it's a bit delayed on YouTube, right? On Instagram. Okay, on Instagram, mashallah. So, Sister Sara, don't worry. <laughs> Most of the times that I, I ask you the questions, they're worded questions. So, you can just answer them on the okay. phone with me. If it's a question that you need to look at the screen, I'll wait for Instagram to catch up. Thanks. All right, perfect. So I ask you your second okay. question. All the way at Wad is Salam, the biggest Shia cemetery. And I ask you, which ruler constructed a magnificent church to distract, to, to distract people from making pilgrimage around the Holy Kaaba? Was it the Fir'aun? Namrud. Namrud, mashallah. Namrud. I don't Namrud. even get to finish my options. We're going to lock that in for you. And indeed... Namrud. Oh. Wow. This is a bit different that I don't have Mullah Rashid next to me. I don't know how to react. Oh my. S Sister Sara, it seems like Instagram <laughs> caught up. But indeed, it was <laughs> Abraha, the man that later on decided <laughs> to go attack the Kaaba. He is mentioned in the Holy Quran in Surah Al Fil, if I'm not mistaken. But with that being said, Sister Sara unfortunately did not oh my get God, that I question right. I would have known that. It's okay, Sister Sara. I'm glad. I'm uh, glad I learned this now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Sister. That's a great way yes, to look at it. But Sister Sara, something that I've been saying throughout the whole show is that even though you did not win here today, you can call in tomorrow again. You can call in on Monday, on Wednesday, on Friday. Keep calling, on, calling in and you can have another chance to win. But if you do not want to call again, you can scan the QR code under right here, which takes you straight to the Imam Hussein Charity website. And if you donate an iftar pack, which costs around 35 US dollars, you will get the chance to go to Karbala. For we will take your name and put it in the big draw. And if your name is chosen, you will go to Karbala. The more, of course, the more you donate, the more times we put your name into the draw. With that being said, Sister Sada, thank you so much for calling all the way from thank Lebanon. You. Please pray for us. And with that being said, fi amanillah khada hafiz. Ma'asalam.
Thank you so much, Jazakallah. No, Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for calling, Sister Sara. Two things to say from that call is that Sister Sara called in all the way from Lebanon. I think our first caller calling in from the Middle East. So that tells you, viewers, if you're in the Middle East, if you're in the Gulf, maybe you are in the UAE and Oman, you can call in from WhatsApp. So it's for free. We do not charge you. And, sec and to go along with that, Sister Sara was very confident in saying that Nimrod was the person that constructed the church. However, she was wrong. But she said something beautiful, that she was very glad that she learnt that Abraha was the correct answer. So her mistake became something that she learnt from. With that being said, AV team, is the next caller ready? Okay, let's take you straight to Imam Hussein Charity video to show you the Stamp great Stamp out poverty did. with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. With that being said, you have just watched a very nice video from the Imam Hussein Charity in, in <coughs> encouraging you all to donate, to do the good act of Sadaqah, especially in this month where the doors of Rahmah, the doors of Mercy have been opened. With that being said, is the next caller ready? Yes. So, I say to the day caller, Assalamu alaikum, your name and where you're calling from. Welcome from uh, Muhammad Hussain. Muhammad Hussain. From, New from Newport. From Newport, mashallah, calling us all the way from Wales. But our first person, essentially, I like to say that Wales is apart from the UK, of course. So the first caller from the UK, Muhammad, how old are you? Seven. Seven? Masha Allah. I think that might be the youngest caller we've had today. We've had a 10-year-old, but now we have a seven-year-old. Brother Muhammad, is Mama or Baba next to you to help you? Yes. Oh, perfect. So I'm now going to take you to the shrine of Imam Ali all the way in Najaf, if you look at your screen, and I'm going to ask you your first question. Habibi Muhammad Hussain, if you get the seven questions right, you will get a ring made out of the marble of Imam Hussain, so you can put on your hand and wear. And we'll put your name into a raffle, a big draw, into a big hat. And if your name's taken out, you with your family will go to Iraq, to Karbala. So I ask you a first question, Hamoudi, Muhammad, and it is the Quran contains descriptions of the day of judgment. Is that true or false? True. True. That was very confident, I must say, to all the dear viewers, which is something I like. Let's lock in that it's true to all the viewers. And of course, you are correct, Habibi Muhammad. We now take you to the second question, which is all the way at Wadi Salam, a large cemetery in Najaf again. And I ask you, Habibi Hamoudi, the second question, which is. Who was the mother of Ammar ibn Yasir? Was it Sumayya? Was it Halima? Was it Kulthum? Or was it Atika? Who was the mother of Ammar ibn Yasir, the great companion of the Ahmed? Sumayya. What did Sumayya. You say? Sumayya. Again, with 20 seconds left, do you want to lock that in, Habibi Hamoud? Yes. Let's lock that in. And of course, you are correct. The mother of Ammar ibn Yasir was Sumayya. I now take you to your third question, the third step. Only four away from winning and going to Karbala, inshallah. 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 And I ask you, Muhammad, to guess the place. We're going to wait for the image to pop up on YouTube, to pop up on your screen. Let not me know. Up yet. Say that again. It's not showing up yet. Okay, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. You have to guess the shrine. Is it the shrine of Hazrat Abbas? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Al Hussein? The holy shrine of Al Askariyain? Or the holy shrine of Al Kadhamain? Okay. So, Habibi Muhammad, you have to look at the image, look at the dome, look at the shape, look at the pillars. Is it the holy shrine of Imam Hussein? 
Maybe the holy shrine of his protector, Abu Fadl al-Abbas. Maybe it's the shrine of al-Kadhamin in Kadhamiyyah, in Baghdad. Or maybe it's the shrine of al-Askariyyin in Samarra. Has the image on, is the image on your screen? Four. You want to say the option four, which is al-Askariyyin. Are you sure you want to lock that in? Yes. Well, let's lock that in for you. And Muhammad, Muhammad, you are indeed correct. You are indeed correct for that is the shrine of Al-Askariyyin, the shrines of Imam Hassan Al-Askari and his father, Imam Ali Al-Hadi. With that being said, I now take you to your fourth step. Muhammad, if you get the fourth step right, you are only three questions away from winning today's seven steps to heaven. Inshallah. Inshallah. And I ask you your next question, which is... In which battle did Prophet Muhammad declare a single strike of Ali in this battle surpasses the worship of Allah by men and jinn until the day of judgment? Which battle did Rasulullah declare this specific sentence? Was it the battle of Hunayn? The battle of Khaybar? Say that again. The or the battle of Khandaq or the battle of Badr. What battle did Rasulullah say this famous phrase? You have 30 seconds on the clock, Muhammad. So you need to make sure you give me your answer before then. If you want, Muhammad, I'm going to remove one of the options. And I'm going to remove the second option, Battle of Khaybar. So now you only have three options left. One, three or four. Ten seconds left. Muhammad, I need the answer. Five, four, three, two. Two. Two has moved. Two has been removed, Muhammad. Three. Three. Yes. Brother Muhammad, I've been told that because your answer was after the time. Of, because your answer was after the time, we cannot accept your answer, which means you have not won seven steps of heaven today. But, Muhammad, I give you a message. And I want to declare something to you and your family. That first of all, we are very proud that you called in. And you were so brave to call in. And thank you for your parents for letting you to call in. But we have good news. That there's two things that you can do. The first is that you can call in again the next time we are live. Which is tomorrow. Or your parents can scan the QR code underneath me. And it will take them to the Imam Hussein Charity website. Where if they donate an iftar pack, which is only... 30 great British pounds, they will be put into the draw where if their name is pulled out or essentially it will be your name, if your name is picked out, you will get to go to Karbala and that will be done without you calling in or getting seven questions right. So, thank you so much, Mohammed Hussein, for calling in. Thank you to the parents for letting him call in. Please pray for us here at Imam Hussein TV and we'll pray for you. With that being said, Khuda Hafiz, May Allah be with you. That's a very tough one for me. Mullah Rashid isn't here for me to discuss, but for me, that was very, very hard because Muhammad was only seven years old. But the great phrase has to be used that you can't win them all. So thank you so much for the parents of Muhammad for calling in. And this is a sign to all parents to let their children call in. Let them have a chance because now Muhammad has learnt that Battle of Khandaq is where Rasulullah said the famous phrase that the strike of Ali is greater than the worship of men and jinn until the day of judgment. So it's a great lesson to be learnt for your young ones. With that being said, AV team is the next call already. But first, we show you a video from Imam Hussein Charity. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Shaki Karbala Thomas. and beyond. Shaki All right, we're back. You saw a great video from the great work of Imam Hussein Charity. With that being said, 
We have the next caller on the line and I say to the caller, Assalamu alaikum, they call on your name and where you're calling from. They call her, Assalamu alaikum, your name and where you're calling from? Uh, alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. I'm, uh, my name is Friday and I'm calling, calling from Sweden. Masha Allah, all the way from Sweden. Yes. Masha Allah. Brother, is this your first time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? Uh, no, it is not. Uh, sorry, just to let you know, it is a delay in the... Yes, yes, yes. Um, I know there's a delay, the, but... The, the screen display. But uh, most of the questions are worded, so I'll ask them to you and then you can answer them through the phone. So there's no delay there. And if it's ever a guess the word or a puzzle, I'll wait for the image to pop up on your screen. No problem at all. With that being said, Brother Fak uh, F uh, Fakiri, is it pronounced? Uh, yes, my name is Fryden, my first name. Oh, Fryden, sorry. Brother Fryden, I now take you straight to the first step, which is at the gates of mercy, the gates of Amir al Mu'midin at Imam Ali alayhi salam's holy shrine. And I ask you the first question, which is a true or false, and it is. This world can exist without the Imam salam. Can the world, can this world right now exist without an Imam present? Is that true or false? Uh, wait, sorry, I don't see it. I know, but I'm, I'm, it's a worded question, so I asked, which I think you uh, heard. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, can you please repeat it? Yeah, so this world can exist without the existence of Imams. Is that true or false? Mm. True or false? True. True. Well, brother, you're, you're t are you sure you want to lock in true? Uh, sorry, it's false, it's false. You want to lock in it's false? Let's lock that in. And indeed, you are correct. Brother Faraidun. With that being said, I take you to your second step, which is all the way at Wadi As Salam. And we ask you the great question, which is How many years did the Prophet reside in Mecca? How many years did Rasulullah live in Mecca? Was it for 11 years? Was it for 40 years? Was it for 53 years? Or was it for 13 years? How many years did Prophet Rasulullah uh, th 13. I'll, I'll go for 13 years. For 13 years. Are you sure yeah, you want I'll to sure. lock that in? Uh, yes. I, Let's I lock that in. Baba Freydun, unfortunately that is incorrect. Rasulullah sallallahu oh. alayhi wa sallam Yes, he was a Nebi. He was a prophet for 13 years in um, Mecca. But he lived there from birth. So he was announced prophet at 40 and then lived there for 13 years after, which equals to 53 years. So the correct answer was oh. 53 years. But Brother Freydun, don't get yeah. upset, please, because you've learned something new today, alhamdulillah, as well as... You can scan the QR card under me and have the chance to donate an iftar pack. The iftar pack is around 30 British pounds. I don't know the currency exchange to Swedish currency, but if you donate an iftar pack, you can, your name will be put into a draw. And if your name is taken out, you will go to Karbala, inshallah. But please don't get upset. Inshallah. You've learned something new. Take your chances, take it on the chin. With that being said, Brother Freydun, thank you so much for calling in. Pray for me, pray for the team. Yeah, and with thank that, you, thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you, the no worries. Team of Imam three. No worries. Thank you so much, Brother Freydun. Please call in again. With that being said, to all the dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV3, Seven Steps to Heaven, unfortunately, will come to an end today. 
Mashallah, we've had callers all the way from Dearborn, then all the way from Dearborn Heights, <laughs> which is a whole other way, a whole other place, essentially for me. I've never been there, probably the same neighborhood. We've also had people calling in from Toronto, people from Newport, people all the way from Australia, which is absolutely great to hear. But with all great things must, must come to an end, but this is not goodbye. This is a see you later, for we will be live in the next 22 hours again here on Imam Hussein TV3. I've been your host for the most. I go by the name of Yasser Helfi. This has been 7 Steps to Heaven on Imam Hussein TV3. Scan the QR code underneath me, and if you donate an iftar pack, your name will be put into the drawer. And if your name is taken out, you will go to Karbala. Now, what better way for me to motiv motivate you to donate other than telling you you will get a free trip to Karbala. So it's sadaqah because you're donating and you have a chance to go to Karbala. With that being said, I've been Yasser Helfi. This has been 7 Steps to Heaven on Imam Hussein TV 3. Thank you so much for watching and see you later. Ma salama khada hafiz. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Imam Hussein Charity is giving you the chance to provide food baskets for destitute and impoverished families all over Iraq and Afghanistan. Each basket costs around £30, $35 roughly, and can feed a family of four. The food basket contains essentials such as flour, bread, tomato puree, oil. Um, they get different spices as well, salt, pepper, um, even you know like cinnamon. You get lentils, you get different vegetables, uh, meats, dates, tea, dried lemons, and not forgetting rice. Take advantage of this blessed month and help destitute and impoverished families. You can pay via bank transfer, PayPal, or visit us at www.imamusincharity.com. Give the gift of a healthy meal to a family in need by donating to our Food Basket campaign. In December 2023, I met a young boy called Amir. I also met his younger brother, Hussein. I didn't meet his mother because his mother had passed away in September 2022, a year and three months before. I want to live the life of an orphan. I've come to see Amir and his younger brother. I want to follow what happens in their day. He told me an insight from an orphan in Karbala. Knife crime and drug misuse is very much open. And then what we'll do, essentially I want them to come to live a day in the life of a Zair. All of the people that live in these situations, there is no hope for them. However, with Amir, I saw hope and I'll explain why. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Morning Barakah Ramadan Special with me, Ali Fadl. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Amir. And now we head back to the IHTV studios with Yunus with the latest news brought to you by Shia Waves. It's a beautiful start to the day as many around the world celebrate the auspicious birth of Imam al Hassan al Mujtaba alayhi salam across the world on the 15th of Ramadan. And coming up on today's episode of Morning Barakah, we have a special guest, Abbas. The nan is burning. Many Muslims think that all fish are allowed. No, only fish with scales are allowed. I mean, of course, this is according to most of our maraja. Please do go back to your marja to double check. Today, I'm outside Al Rasul Adam Center right here in North London as we see how they prepare for the Holy Nights of Al Qadr. Come join us on Haidar on the 19th of Ramadan.
In this morning Barakah Ramadan special, we are dedicating a whole segment specifically for the Holy Quran. And actually, Abbas, I'd rethink touching the Holy Quran without wudu. Because the Prophet actually mentioned when it comes to the holy verses of Allah, the Quran.